guys. This is a bonus October trip. <laughs> It was just me. I paddled down the Tar River. Um, I was attempting Chattajack, which is normally in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And this was virtual this year. So we could do it wherever we wanted to. I was really excited about this paddle. Um, I have been stand-up paddle boarding for, um, since college. So about 10 years now. I love paddling, <laughs> but I've never done this side of paddling too. I've never done like racing. I love, absolutely love long distance paddling and backcountry paddling. Like I didn't know what to expect, but I felt pretty good about my odds to paddle. <laughs> my plan was to put it in Greenville, uh, North Carolina at Town Commons and then take out at Goose Creek State Park. Um, I had no idea what to really expect because I haven't done anything this long in one day on a Santa paddle board before. I started paddling. I put in about like 8.06, a little past 8 o'clock, um, and Thomas gave me a, he drove me all the way down there, he, um, so he was my, but he was my support that day. <laughs> um, drove me all the way down, helped me unload, got the GoPro set up and everything and pushed me off. How you feeling? A little nervous. <laughs> Excited. Ready to be on the water. <laughs> Got everything? I think I do. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun. I'll try. Take a sip of water when you can just to make sure everything's hooked up right. hit my first hour and it's warming up. I know I've passed <laughs> I know I've passed Port Terminal for sure. I just passed it. Feeling pretty good so far. Um, just like trying to make sure I'm saying 
uh, have enough protein and energy throughout the day as well. That's what I'm more nervous about at this moment because I'm already getting hungry. <laughs> I just started an hour ago. Um, so I'm going to take a quick snack break, hydration break, get up and keep going. I'm also in this like almost like an eddy so I'm not really getting any current. It's just not really the best place to stop. After that first shower, I took a break, um, had some snacks, but I got caught up kind of in this eddy so I wasn't floating down the river during the break. And after that, that's when I really started losing um, miles <laughs> and time. Um, and then from there on, I was doing 17 minutes a mile, 18 minutes a mile. Um, so I was definitely losing time. Okay, we are... Um, like almost a mile over halfway. Um, we are over just over four and a half hours in. Um, definitely thought I would have more of a current. Um, uh, this far down the river, um, I do not, <laughs> and I've also had some. Uh, northeasterly headwind, uh, which I kind of expected, but it's supposed to be pretty uh, mild, only like five miles an hour. It's been a little over that <laughs> so far. Like I said, it's a little interesting being out here by myself. I've seen, um, let's see, two kind of the Two folks in the boat fishing near Port Terminal, but they really didn't see me just because of where they all were. And then um, two other boats like zoomed up beside me or like behind, right behind me, and then they stopped, which was weird. Um, this is odd. I wonder if y'all can see. <laughs> um, and then I passed two men fishing. Um, and that's all. That's, so yeah, it's a little odd being out here by myself. But yeah, I'm right, definitely feeling a lot of sore muscles. Um, my hands are really sore. Um, my legs are kind of sore. So it's been, it's been interesting already. Um, definitely have been past few miles going like what did I get myself into so <laughs> trying to stay in a positive mindset of why I was doing this pedal to begin with um, so still trying to trek along Thomas honked at me over at a, an overpass and I was pedaling underneath it and at first I was like he just honked <laughs> and when I went looked over my shoulder I saw uh, Black Pearl and the truck, so that was a kind of exciting, especially because I have been by myself um, since 8.06 or so when I started. <laughs> um, it was cool to see Thomas and have his support. Um, been trying to ping him every hour or so, let him know where I am so he can find me. much wildlife uh, a lot of these crazy jumping fish I mean huge fish jumping out of the water um, tons of birds or I saw hawks I heard an eagle but I couldn't spot it a um, bunch of kingfisher birds um, when I hit little Washington I saw five otters and that was super cool super cool but when I got to little Washington 
Um, and to the waterfront, I saw Thomas and a good friend of ours, Clay, that we haven't seen in a long time. Um, so thanks, Clay, for the support and saying hi. When I went under the railroad bridge there, that's when I was like, I really don't think I'm going to be able to make it to um, Goose Creek. Um, so when I called Thomas from the board, my board, and told him, like, I don't think it's going to happen. So Thomas picked me up um, and I had gotten off the water at 25.1 miles that day. And honestly, I was stoked. I was, a, I felt a little um, deflated and defeated um, when I had decided to call Thomas, but like just making it from Greenville to Little Washington in the time that I did, I was so excited, so proud of myself. Um, cause like I said, I did not really know what to expect. I didn't know how far I was going to make it on it really. Um, and I was attempting the first time ever to go 31 miles on a scenic paddleboard. Definitely am looking forward to my, to preparing a little bit better for my next long distance race, um, or just long distance paddle. I will say any moms out there that have an this desire, this eagerness to challenge themselves to push for something that they don't think they really can do, especially with the toddler or especially with their children, do it anyways. Find a support group around you and get after it. Um, reach out to me. I will help you make it happen. Um, but get after your goals. Thanks for watching this bonus October trip um, that I did. I guess we'll see y'all out there. Bye, guys. Just about busted my butt. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>